Today we celebrate St. Anthony Mary Claret. Born in Spain in 1807, young Antonio learned his father's trade of weaving as well as printing and Latin, all before studying for the priesthood. Ordained at 28, he went on to become one of Spain's most popular preachers. At 42, Anthony founded a religious institute of missionaries, known popularly as the Claritians. Appointed to head the much-neglected Archdiocese of Santiago, Cuba, he began its reform by almost ceaselessly preaching and hearing confessions. He incurred widespread opposition for preaching against unmarried persons living together and for giving instructions to black slaves. When a hired assassin slashed his face and wrist, Anthony responded by getting the would-be assassin's death sentence commuted to a prison term. All his life, Anthony was interested in the Catholic press. Residing with the Spanish colony in France, he founded the Religious Publishing House, a major publishing venture, and wrote or published 200 books and pamphlets. A staunch defender of the doctrine of papal infallibility at Vatican I, he died in 1870 and was canonized in 1950.